Good afternoon everybody, I'm back out again. We're in Loch Lomond National Park and I'm heading up a small hill which supposedly has a really good view. So it's the first time I've ever been up here in 59 years, so we'll head on up. It shouldn't be too long because it's relatively small, but I'm hoping it'll provide some good views tonight. Anyway, follow me along in this one, we'll see how we get on. It was a really warm day, about 19 degrees in the car when I left. Just filled up with as much water as I can because I don't think there'll be much further up. And uh, you can see Ben Lomond in the background there. Very quiet, not a soul about, so hopefully I get the summit to myself. So peaceful. But the Blair Witch Project signs are not so peaceful. So I just cleared the woods. That was actually quite quick. So hopefully somewhere up there I think. Shouldn't be too long. I'm glad I filled up earlier on because I think this is the second stream point shown on the map. Just a bog basically. But a bog with a view. So I've just come over the prow of the ridge here. Kind of more flatter ground and there is the hand of the cobbler ahead of me in the west. But those views should open up as we get higher. So good news, I'm further up towards the summit, but I've just had a wee trickle of a stream, so I was getting a bit worried about dehydrating, because I've really not got enough to cook tonight. Just over here there's a wee stream, which I'll refill up again. So it's good to know it's there anyway. This'll do nicely. Hey we guy. Oops. Give you a fright there, you woke up. I haven't quite got my feet wet yet. I never wear gaiters, I don't know what you guys think about them, I never bother. Um, this one went in, but nearly up to the ankle, but not over. A bit boggy in places, but most of it's in pretty good nick because it's so dry. There you go. That was pretty painless. Now we just need to find a spot to camp. But there's not a soul. A sign of life. So I'm thinking maybe over the hill here because you'll get a nice view down Loch Lomond but you really are spoilt for choice and I'll show you what I mean. This is looking over towards the Arakar Alps, uh, Ben Narnain I think and the cobbler just behind, back in focus and I, th I can't remember what that's called, a qua, a croy, a qua. I'll put it on screen. And then looking kind of northwest, I think, you have got over by, I think that's Ben Vane which is the kind of rugged one and then on the right Ben Vorlich. Above Sloy Dam, Loch Sloy up the top there, you can see. Then looking northeast, north northeast, uh, Loch Lomond itself down there, and the route of the West Highland Way on the far shore runs right along there. That's quite a rugged part, toughest part of the whole route actually. So I've just come 100 yards from the summit, and I saw this wee area here, which is quite flat and it's got a nice view. But then when I turned around and looked down below me here, I think this is a spot that I've seen quite a number of people using just here and uh, thanks to Murray at Scotland's Mountains I think who probably ended up there and kind of inspired me to go for this. Yep, I think it's an easy decision. It's a perfect spot. Let's grab it before somebody else does. Let's get set up. Right, as you can see, I've probably gone a wee bit overkill tonight with the crux assault, but take no chances, and I've got a lighter weight sleeping bag, so I thought I'd make it up with a decent shelter. It should be warmer. So I'm hoping it's a compromise between weight and comfort. Still roasting, but it is uh, 20 to 5 now, um, probably about 17, 18 degrees. And at the end of April, so pretty good. Right, let's get the gear in. <laughs> right, just get myself set up now. Cook set's the usual, uh, Soto Windmaster. Thought for a minute they had forgotten the gas, but I've got it. <laughs> Um, I've also changed down my sleeping bag tonight, so I'm going for a lighter, 850 grams, my trusty mountain hardware Lamina Spark. I've had this for years, 
I suspect it doesn't loft quite as well, so it's not quite as warm, but I've brought some uh, thermal tights as well to use tonight, and obviously this tent is a lot warmer. So I'm hoping I'll be absolutely fine tonight. And as usual, the Thermores Neo Air, which again is, I've had for years, and actually the inner lining, the foil inside it is beginning to tear. So it possibly has some cold spots, but I haven't actually noticed them yet. So we'll keep using it until it comes apart. So the Crux Assault is probably a wee bit overkill in terms of strength, weight and room, but I just quite fancy getting out again. And just in case if the weather turns earlier than the forecast for tomorrow, you know you're safe. But 1.9 kilos, a wee bit more of a lump to carry up the hill, so I felt the difference. Compared to the Black Diamond Distance Tent, it's a lot heavier. Yep. Really is a great spot. Murray, thank you again if you ever watch this video. What a cracking little flat wheel drain spot it is. The last of the tour boats coming in, I think, for the evening. So I've added these DCF tie outs, it seem to stick to it really well and I'm hoping that that will just make the tent a bit more stable in crosswinds. Amazing weather for April, just being able to lie out here, sunbathe, let the feet dry off, just lie in the grass, it's not even wet underneath me. So this is my repair job that I did when I tore the sleeve the first time I took it out, ripped it through here. Anyway I've used Gore-Tex um, patch and then just to make sure it's sealed, I put silicon uh, sill net around the edges. Made the right dog's breakfast of it, but it, uh, it's effective, if not particularly pretty. One wee visitor, just a minute ago. I haven't actually spoken to them. I don't know if somebody else is there or not, but I think they're just on their own looking for some good photos. I think the weather is on the change though, as I look north and west it's clouding up and possibly beginning to drop the cloud level so I think the rain that's forecast for tomorrow will be coming in but hopefully we'll bail out before then. So I don't know if I mentioned it before but this is Loch Long here and if you watched my video when I was looking or spying on the aircraft carrier I went all the way down here and along and then away down to there to where it takes on its arms as a kind of military pier way further down that loch. Hard to see actually, you would never know it was there, which I guess is the point. And then up this valley here is the rest of Be Thankful, which is a fantastic winding kind of alpine road, it takes you high up and you go up to Ben Donick and the like, which are great hills that again that I've camped on. And looking down Loch Lomond to the, all the main islands at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually a wildfire's broken out just in behind here. I saw the smoke plumes coming up earlier on there. So hopefully that doesn't get too out of control, but there's a lot of them just now. And this beastie, as you probably know, is Ben Lomond. Um, which almost has its own weather pattern because it's so big it creates its own cloud. You can just see my wee tent. It's a bit more stealth than the Black Diamond and it's bright blue. Just black and DCF, so it tucks in quite nicely. No hassle. So for tonight's dinner, I'm going to try something a wee bit more exotic for me anyway. More than the pot noodle, as usual. I've got some chicken with me. It doesn't need cooked. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up some noodles. Just boil them up. There's peanuts, satay sauce. And I'll just heat it up and add it to the cold chicken. Five minutes, that should be good. Okay, here goes. Satay sauce. Mmm. That looks pretty good. Yeah. So it's looking good, I have to say. And uh, I'm just going to add these peanuts into it. Whoa. That, I have to say, is the most delicious camp meal I've had in a while. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Mm.
So I've got a new neighbour tonight. He's just arrived and looking for a wee camp spot, but he's really fussy. He's been wandering around for ages trying to choose a spot. It really has been a glorious setting. The chap that's set up above me is from Montenegro originally, but lives in London. And he's come up here for the weekend to get away from London and a bit of nature, and who can blame him? Anyway, he came over and asked me if he had a tick in his neck, which he has. <laughs> so he's going to have to go and he's trying to remove it just now. Well, not be short on room tonight. Right everyone, I'm in my bed, nice and cosy, nice dry night, a bit breezy but it's absolutely fine and uh, it's warm in here so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody, let's have a wee look outside. Cool, that sleeping bag is not up to it. I'm going to have to invest in a new sleeping bag. Right everyone, I'm packed and nearly ready to go, just take the tent down and I'm away. So again, another quick wee adventure, small hill, big views, which was really good. And a couple of wee visitors coming and going and one guy staying overnight. So it was good to speak to him. But um, thanks again for watching. If you liked what you saw, please give me a wee like or a subscribe. It really helps the channel. I appreciate it. And it's time to head back down to reality again. But it was quick and enjoyable. See you soon. Thank you.